Hi everybody, welcome back to Beardy Cubing 101. My name is Joe, I'm your host of Beardy Cuber. And uh, we're back, I'm gonna show you how to solve the uh, Polaris Cube. It's the Mi Long Polaris Cube. I think it's like, um, I don't know, seven bucks. And, uh, you know, I, I guess the reason why I, uh, you know, it took a little break there. I, I didn't make a video for the better part of, uh, I don't know, a month or so, I guess. So this is the last time I made the, the three-part video on uh, the Maple Leaf Cube here. And, um, you know, I was just tired, kind of burnt out. And I uh, thought I'd give myself a well-deserved break. You know, I've been making videos, um, two videos per month for over three years. So I, you know, a little well-deserved break, you know? Okay, so, uh, you know, that's that. And, um, all right, so about this uh, Polaris cube, it's uh, very interesting. It's another skewed cube. And, um, you know, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, okay, so if, you know, I, I get this a lot. You know, let me, let me, let me vent a little bit here where, you know, people say, hey, you know what, Joe, you know, I think I don't get it. You know, you skipped over a whole bunch of stuff and, you know, didn't really quite um, explain the cube so well. Well, see, I'm going to have to take issue with that because it's not that I skipped over anything. I, di I didn't. I, you know, um, it's that you missed the previous videos. You know, if you don't watch the videos, because um, that's the way that this channel works is... Um, you know, you got to watch the previous videos. I, I mean, you've got to build on your skills, you know, and, you know, if you just want to jump into this cold, I mean, I, I don't know if that's really going to happen for you, you know, um, just like this one here. I mean, this was, you know, a complicated little cube here. It looks easy, you know, but things are deceptive just because it's cheap, you know, and it looks easy doesn't mean you know that you can just underestimate it because i'll tell you what man you know these are very deceptive looking cubes you know and uh you have to have a framework uh, a skill set you know that you've built on for you know uh, some period of time you know you're not going to you know go beat Phelps in, uh, you know, swimming here be just because you did a couple laps at the pool just the other day. You know, you've got to work on this, you know, consistently. So, you know, also, um, you know, I, but that time that I had off, I've been, you know, uh, fielding people's questions and, you know, I, I get, I get questions, you know, every now and then. And, I want to answer them to the best of my ability, but you got to meet me halfway on that too, because um, sometimes um, you know you think you're asking me a question, but it's actually you're just making a comment. So I, you know, you got to make sure that you're actually asking me a question, and um, you got to be specific, you know, because you can't be vague about it at all you know if you can leave me a timeline you know so just say you know between um you know with this video between timeline um you know 19 minutes and 54 seconds and this timeline i was confused so it gives me a frame of reference so i can go back into that video and see what you're talking about or you know if it's even more complicated question you know um you know maybe you want to send me a picture at um beardedcubing101 at gmail.com. Um, that'll work too, you know. Um, and a lot of times, and I get this one a lot, is like, here, hey, my, my cube won't solve. Everything is solved except for maybe one corner. So um, I've gone through this many, many times, is that if the cube has ever been a part at some time in the past, and reassembled you got to make sure that when it was reassembled it was reassembled correctly so that you know everything that the cube was solved you know when you when you put it back together it's in a solved form it's solved correctly because if it's not and it'll be forever in a unsolvable state until you actually take the whole cube apart again put it back together it's now in a solvable state then you scramble it and you can always it will always remain in a solvable state or you can get it into a solvable state. I hope that makes sense. 
And uh, for those of you who are, you know, good at cubing, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And for those of you who are like scratching your head, well, that tells me that you need to go back to the beginning and watch, you know, if you want, you know, if you try to go into this cold if you like, and, you know, see how it well works out for you. Um, okay, so uh, the hardest part about solving this cube is... Well, for me, it's explaining it to you, okay? And believe me when I tell you, I'm not trying to um, mess you up by turning and rotating the cube and flipping the cube and then going back and saying, just do this, this, and this. And, you know, but I'm not a magician here. I gotta be able to show you, I gotta be able to show the camera exactly what it is that I, I'm, I'm trying to do, you know, because, I mean, how else am I supposed to solve the cube? You know, I've got to be able to see it. I've got to be able to rotate it. Um, but I'm trying to be as specific and as careful as I can. And I'm, I'm trying to stabilize it stabilize it as much as possible. And, uh, okay, so let's see. Um, we're going to scramble the cube. I have it semi-scrambled right now on purpose. Um, just so that I can show you what this part of the video is going to be because this is just going to be parts one and part two okay so in part one um you want the cube to look just like this with white on top and i'm talking about this white star red facing us green on our left blue on the right orange in the back and yellow on the bottom okay and we're also going to want all these corners all eight corners rotated uh, correctly where you have the whites on top with the white the reds facing you with the red um, and so forth with the greens the blues the oranges and the yellows okay so it's all coordinated now to get it like that is um, more difficult than you might think okay especially if you don't know how this cube actually functions okay now this is what sets me apart from other cubers other cubers and f please feel free to watch everybody else's videos um, I haven't watched everybody's videos but I can pretty much you know, say that uh, I mean I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that they're not gonna explain this part to you because they can't explain it to themselves is that um, there's a technique to this okay and when you don't know the technique um you can you can solve it without knowing the technique okay it is possible to do that you know because i've done it a hundred times until i actually figured the technique out uh ready to update again all right um and it took a while to figure um, the technique out but I've got it right and that's what sets me apart from you know a lot of other people is that I will explain things to you in detail and I will explain to you why it's happening and what exactly you need to do now is every possible situation gonna come up no probably not you know um, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you a few examples. And with all these examples, you should be able to extrapolate and figure out um, what needs to be done to be able to solve the cube for yourself. Okay. And I guess that's a, just another part of cubing is that, you know, um, I'm going to, you know, I'm looking to give you all the tools that you need to be able to solve the cubes um i don't know how sex really explain that but you know i mean i guess that's it you know i just want to give you the tools that you need to be able to solve the cubes you know it's like art and painting you know you're not you know with a painting you know you you can copy somebody's painting you know but you know, when you're copying somebody's painting or whatever, you, you're just gaining the tools that you need to be able to make your own painting your own special way. And 
I don't, is this making any sense? I don't know. I, well, let's just get to solving the cube. Um, so one thing that um, this cube, how this cube differs from this one is that this one has rotatable corners, okay? And that's how we're gonna end up scrambling it. All these corners just rotate, just like that. And then carefully, very carefully, you're just going to just give it a little turn, just like that, you know, just let it work itself out until you can actually start turning it, okay? And then you'll see very quickly that, um, you know, if you, you just wanna do scoop cube moves, the, you know, the sledgehammer, you know, and if you don't know what a sledgehammer is, you know, it's just the down, down, up, up, you know, so down on the right, down on the left, up on the right, up on the left, right? And very quickly, it gets very confusing because spatial orientation gets thrown off just because these corners are skewed, right? So you have to do the best you can to ignore the, those corners if that helps, okay? Um, because this one here, well, this just turns in big chunks like that, right? Um, oh, something like that. Hey, there it is. Okay, um, well, all right, I guess I've just babbled on long enough. So let's, uh, let's get this going. Okay, so this is the uh, Polaris cube, and um, let's just go ahead and um, return this a little bit. I was just scrambling a little bit, um, but I want to show you how this thing works completely. So um, it's already scrambled, but what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate these corners, okay? Just like that. All right? And all these corners turn. They got a little click to them, you know? And then very gently, just kind of hold it off to the side and just kind of, you know, do one of these deals. Just kind of work it a little bit so that it pops itself loose so that you can actually turn this. Okay? And when you're mixing this thing up, all you're basically doing is just, you know, do a turn like that, do a turn like this. It doesn't matter. Okay? And then rotate this, rotate that, rotate this. You know, just keep rotating stuff so that these little pieces get mixed up with, um, like say I'll put this piece, um, well I don't want to put it there because it'll match up with this. So let's just rotate it over here, right? When it's there, then I'm just gonna rotate that out of the way. You know, uh, if this is already matched up with this, then let's move that and we'll put it, you know, matched up with this, right? Rotate that out of the way. You know, and then you just continue around the cube and you know, this was matched up with over here. Well, let's move that out of the way. We'll put it over there instead. And rotate that out of the way. You know, if you want, you can rotate it back. You don't have to. You can do whatever you want. Right? But it's just a, you know, just a repositioning of pieces where you're just going to move them out of the way or put them on, on a spot that doesn't match. Move, you know, move them so that you don't move it back to, you know, a place where it does match. Right? And, um... That's basically it. You know, just have a look around the cube, make sure everything's all messed up real good. You know, that looks really good. That's okay. So even though that that's mas matched up, that's not matched up over there. So that's all right. And I'm looking at all these corners and making sure that nothing is matched up. And it's not. Okay, good. So now that we've got that accomplished, uh, all the corners are, are messed up. Um, just give it a, you know, a couple sledgehammers down on one side, down on the other side, up on the first side, up on the other side, right? And, you know, vary it, you know, rotate these two down, down, up, up. And you don't always have to go down, down, up, up, you know, because right now, remember, you're just scrambling. Just anything will do. Okay, so I think that's pretty good right there. Um, so the first thing that we want to do, remember, our goal here is um, we want to have the white on top. We want to have the red facing us, the green on the left, blue on the right, orange in the back, and yellow on the bottom. Okay, that's the goal. And we're going to want to have all the corners color coordinated as well. Um, part two, we'll just end up solving the rest of the cube. So let me show you how we go about doing this. 
Okay, so this is what we're gonna do to get this part solved. We're gonna locate the um, white center piece and we're gonna surround the, this white center piece with white corner pieces. Um, okay, so we're just, there's a white right there and there's a white right here. Now these two don't match, so um, I'm gonna have to move this one. So I can take this one and move it down to the bottom. Okay, it's down here. And then instead of having it over here, I'll put it over right there just by swinging this in. Now, if I turn this and this one, you'll see that the whites match and the blues match. Okay. Um, now, if I turn this one just by luck, um, these whites match and these orange match. Um, how about this one? Well, if it's not on the top, it's going to be on the bottom. So let's go ahead and... Um, skew all these so that we can actually turn it and get the last piece in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and just for learning purposes, I'm going to put this all back so I can show you that you have four white corners, um, two reds, two greens, two blues, and two oranges. Okay, now at this point, what we're looking to do is um, find the red side. This is the red side right here. Okay, um, and the red um, piece is over here, right? The, the center piece. Now, what I need to do is I need to sledgehammer this red center piece from, from this position to the bottom position. Then from the bottom to position into its correct position. How do I know that this is the correct position? Well, because I put the red corners here, okay? So, um, to be able to move that this piece to the bottom, we have to skew all these corners, okay? We're gonna take this red piece and put it on the bottom. We're gonna do that with a sledgehammer, down, down, up, up, okay? Take that red piece and we know that this is going to be the red position just because if I turn these back, you're gonna see that this is the red side. This red piece on, that's on the bottom needs to go here, skew this. Hold it like this so that these two pieces switch down, down, up, up. Okay. Now, if I turn all this, oops. Okay. I will see, or you will see, we will see that um, this is now correct. Okay. Now, this is where it starts to get a little tricky. And let me just turn all this stuff back, okay? So right now we've accomplished um, uh, four white corners orientated correctly with the centerpiece here and the centerpiece there. Um, now if you look around the cube, I can see that um, the blue is actually orientated or it's in its correct position. The centerpiece is in its correct position. However, this piece, this piece, and this piece are not, okay? So we need to fix that. Right now, the cube is in an unsolvable state simply because this piece, this piece, and this piece need to be rotated. Now, at this point, when we rotate something, we must, again, rotate back, right? That's the law of cubes, okay? So we need to... Um, skew all these so that we can make these rotatable right very gently just pick any side just so you can unlock the cube here and unlock it there both access now remember what we need to do is we need to take the green which is back here and put it there okay and we're going to do that and what i'm going to do is just rotate it like this right and i'm going to say that this green needs to go here i am going to do this okay i'm just going to rotate it but when i rotate this i'm going to rotate this one out of the way okay um this because remember this corner is correct right but i'm going to nudge it out of the way temporarily but i'm going to have to put it back okay so right now i'm just simply taking this green and put and putting it here and this one's going to be nudged out of the way. Okay. Now that this has been nudged out of the way right here, I need to rotate it back into its correct position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole side right here and I'm going to 
rotate, rotate this back, and then rotate this back. Okay? I know that's confusing. Let's get back to um, the red side. Okay, now you're going to notice that the red is gone, right? The red centerpiece disappeared. It went down here, okay? No problems. What we're going to do is we're just going to sledgehammer this red piece right back into his, to his correct position. We're going to do that by, and we know that this is the correct position because, or this is the correct position just because this is the red side. So we're going to you know, skew those again, right? We're going to rotate or uh, sledgehammer these two p pieces right here. Down, down, up, up. Okay. Now, look at, what we got, well, look at what we got going on here. These corners are still correct, right? The white is correct. You know, if you just look at it like this, okay. Sorry. Just like that. The red is correct, okay? The blue is on the left, the green is on the right, okay? What does that tell me? That tells me that the piece that's on the bottom and the piece that's on the in the back are also switched, okay? So when I switch and I sledgehammer the pieces that the piece that's on the bottom and the piece that's on the back, I know that this piece will go over here and this piece will go over here, okay? So, again, skew all these. The goal is to switch the bottom and the back piece so that this piece goes over here and this piece goes over here. Watch how that this happens. Just rotate so these two pieces are facing you. Sledgehammer down, down, whoops, up, up. Okay, rotate it back so you have the white on top. The red is facing you. Okay, the red's facing you, the green's on the left, the blue's on the right, the orange is in the back, and the yellow is on the bottom. Okay, and that's how you complete um, part one. Let's do another example. Okay, let's do this again. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to find this white, right? We're going to surround it with four white... Um, Corners. They just happen to all be up here. Let's see if they're in their correct positions. Um, they are. I didn't plan that. So, um, well, I mean, you can believe me or not. I didn't plan it. It just happened to work out like that when I scrambled it. Um, but we're just going to keep it that way. We're going to say that we know that um, what side is the uh, red side right here? This is the red side. Right, you can tell it's the red side just because um, the reds are facing this way. So we need to get the red piece here. If the red piece is not on the bottom, or you know, let's just say it was over here, well then you have to put it. You'd have to hold it like this and sledgehammer it down to get to the bottom here. Same thing if it was over here. Same thing if it's in the back. You have to bring it down to the bottom. Okay, but before you do that, you got to make sure that you have all these corners skewed and the cube is unlocked you just kind of give it a little wiggle right and um, again you just want to take this red and put it on the bottom down down up up okay the red is on the bottom now you're going to hold it again so that the white is on top the reds okay because so this is the red side is right here and you want to take this red and put it right here so you're going to go such hammer there down down up up oh, okay now comes the tricky part um take a look around the cube okay so we have white on top red facing us um we have blue on the left green on the right and then these two are solved so what does that tell you well it tells you that if you if you if we hold it like this and we scramble or we sledgehammer these two pieces and we switch this piece with this piece, these two pieces switch. If those two pieces switch, this piece and this piece switch. Okay. So go ahead and switch those pieces down, down, up, up. Okay. 
hold it like just like this with red on top or uh, with white on top red facing you green on the left blue on the right orange in the back yellow on the bottom and if you turn all these you will see that um the cube once again has solved itself okay now um and that worked out really well. I mean, I didn't plan it, but that, that worked out really well. It gave you an, an idea of what was going on. But basically what's happening here is, and we'll do this one more time just because I don't want to shortchange you. Um, but once you get to this point where you have um, the white on top with these two, or with these four uh, corners correct, and then this one is correct position, you want to be able to find... Um, either the red, the green, or the blue, and have it in its correct position. And then, um, if the other piece is not obviously not in its correct position, you just kind of rotate it in, right? And that rotates the corner out of position, and then you got to rotate, replace, and then rotate back to get the cube back into a solvable state. Let's get let's get into that a little bit more. We'll do one more solve.